everybody, my name is McCall. Today's workout is short enough that you can crush it on your lunch break or squeeze it into a busy day. But even in this short time, we're gonna get our heart rates up, of course have a blast, and get that full body bar burn you know and love. The best thing about today's workout is it is done all standing. So you'll notice I have no mat. However, I do have a slightly heavier pair of weights than we normally use. I'm using five pounders today, a ball, and we're gonna use a chair. We're gonna bring a chair in for two moves at the end. It'll be a prop for us. So grab your equipment and let's move. For our warm up, we don't need any equipment. You're gonna stand with your feet narrow. You're gonna bring your arms up to a high V, shoulders down, and we're gonna tap the inside of our heels. Tap. Feels so good on the external rotation of your hips. Oh yeah. Bend that bottom leg as you tap your heels. Tight core. Shoulders away from your ears. Stand arrow, take it to a little squat, stand. Starting just with a small range of motion, we're gonna get bigger and bigger with that range of motion. Sinking deeper into your chair squat. Here we go, reach, squeeze your glutes all the way up. This time we're gonna stay at the bottom. Lift this heel, pulls it down. Yes, I want you to transfer most of your weight onto this standing leg. We're already feeling that burn. And we're gonna take this leg out and in. You're gonna go wide, then narrow. Can you see how this leg is just sneaking out and in? Weight is staying centered on this leg. Now we're burning. Give me a three count pulse. Three, two, one, bring it in. You got this. Oh yeah. Hold it in, lift that knee up, balance challenge. Open your heart, open your shoulders. If you want, you can try and raise your heel off of the ground. Find your center, hold it. Oh, and drop it down. Knee comes up and back. Sweeping your leg front and back. Opening up your hip flexor. Just getting those snap crackle pops out of the way. Up and back. We're gonna start the warm up again from the top. Here we go, arms lift and we tap. I can't tell you how much I love this move. It feels amazing on those hips. Let me see you bend your standing leg as you step on it. Tap, down, you got it. Give me four more. Then we're gonna take it to that narrow squat. Reach, up. Small range of motion as you start. Get bigger, oh yeah. I wanna see you stick your booty to the back wall, keeping your chest lifted. Oh, we're in it. Lower lift, squeeze on the way up. Now we're gonna stay at the bottom, hold. Lift this heel, hold it down. Drawing your navel to your spine. Load your weight on your standing leg. This leg is gonna become almost weightless as we tap it out and in. Here we go. Out, in. This is a fun little twist on a common move we do by keeping our weight loaded on your standing leg. We only got a short workout today. We gotta get all that bang for our buck. Pulse it for three, then draw it in. Going three, two, one, pull it in. Tell me you're feeling this. Are we feeling the fire? All right, all right. Bring it in, draw that knee up. Let's find our balance, other side. Always balancing ourselves out. If you want it, you're gonna lift up onto your toes. How you doing? If you're wobbling or falling, that's good. That means you're trying. You're getting uncomfy. 
All right, let's take it down and sweep that leg front and back. Lift, back. You can do whatever feels good with your arms here. Just swing them naturally, where you can do what I'm doing. Hook. Still balancing on your standing leg. There we go. Back to that first move, heel taps. Let's go. Get deeper in your standing leg. Come on, heart rate's going up. Heel, tap. You got this. Twist, make that connection. Static hold, we go hold. Drop it lower, hold. Oh yeah, you can move and group. Drop it a little lower. And final drop, hold. In four, three, two, come on up, shake it out. We are grabbing our weights and moving to upper body right away. So, place your ball off to the side. Again, my weights are five pounds today, you do you. You're still gonna feel that burn effectively with three pounders. Feet come narrow, just like the warm up. Bend your knees. You're gonna sink low, hinge at your hips, send your booty to the back, and you're gonna bring your weight down to the ground. You're gonna have them framing your legs so they're on the outside of your legs. Palms facing back. You're gonna lift your weights to your hips, then drop them to your knees. Up, then lower. A tricep lift and lower. Never leaving that burn zone. Arms are shaking almost immediately. As you lift lower, resist the lower always. How we doing, how we doing? Yes, we go lift and lower. Think hips, then knees. Lift, down. Next move. You're gonna keep your hand positioning the exact same, but you're gonna give me a fly, reverse fly. Your pinkies are leading the way and it burns. Your low point is right outside of your knees, just like that other move. Your range of motion might be super small. We're working those delts and it is a new way that your delts are working. So I'm sure they're burning. Here we go, open. Close, lift. Give me a few more reps here. Then we're gonna take it two and two. You ready? Here we go, back for two. Lower, out for two. Lift, lower. Again, again. Slow, out. Two more times. Listen. We're never coming back to this today. Give me all you got for this final rep. Oh, last time. And lift, hold slowly lower, bring it in. Oh my goodness, shake it out, how you doing? Drop one of your weights, grab your ball that you're gonna put under your heel. We're gonna combine upper and lower body with this next set. Heels together, toes out, shoulders back. Hand on your hip. We're gonna take this arm in an upright row. Lifting up, down. Let's take it all the way up overhead. Upright row plus a press. Huge full range of motion. Continuing the same motion with your arm, but now give me that knee bend at the bottom. Dropping your weight, but not dropping your chest. Muscle over momentum always. If you wanna take it lower, you can give me that. Deep plie. Lift, down. You're almost there, almost there. Huh. 
Two more. This time, stay at the top. Hold, take your arm out to a high V. You're using your elbow as a hinge point. You're gonna give me a tricep extension to the beat. Up. There you go, there you go. Soft, neutral wrist. Feeling the back of your arm light up. Hold that high V. You're gonna take your arm down for two, up. For two. Oh yeah. There's that burn. Low. Low. Up. Lower your arm. Hold. Take this leg out. Dropping your weight. Shoulders down and back. Give me a beautiful pulse. Opening your knees. Pressing to the back wall. Activating your inner thighs. Glutes. Hold. Two pulses out, wide. Two pulses narrow, you ready? Here we go. We're gonna take it out for two, then narrow for two. That toe is shaking. Yes. Woo. How much fun are we having right now? Oh, it feels so good to be here together and move. All right, one more time. Bring it in, stay out, hold. Knees go back. Pressing your knees, rotate back. Back, shoulders up and back. Nice work, nice work. Get lower, get lower. And bring your weight to your chest. We're gonna rotate to a lunge. Hold it here. Yes, static hold. Just find that positioning. Roll your shoulders back. Draw your core in. Front knee over your heel. Shoulder aligns with hip, aligns with your back knee. Hold. Let's take it low and high. Low, high. Are you shrieking? Woo! I am. Come on, drop. Most of these exercises today we're not hitting multiple times. So I need you to give me 100% right now, right here. Let's go, let's go. Hold it at the bottom. Final move, press your heel down. Down into the ball. Front heel down, down, down. Go. You got this. Lower four, lower three, two, one. Come on up, bring your feet together. Shake it out. How are we feeling? Ah, let's even you out right away. So, ball is gonna come under your opposite heel. Take your weight in your opposite hand, heels together, toes turned out. You've got that external rotation. We're lifting through our chest, and arm comes in an upright row. Weight is mostly on this foot, maybe a 70 30 split going on here. Up. Now, bigger range of motion. Take it up all the way to a press. Add your knee, bend. Lift and lower. The only thing I want lowering is from your hips down. Upper body stays tight, tall, and strong. Now, depending on your fitness and flexibility level, if you want to go deeper, you can. But never leaving that active range of motion zone. Don't let anything collapse or fall. Always working to keep it tight and strong. Lift. Final two. Lift it up here. Take that arm to a high V. We're gonna keep your elbow where it's at. And extend, tricep extension. High V, here we go. Bend, extend. If you wanna kind of use your opposite arm to stabilize, you can. Trying to keep it exactly where it's at. Lower, extend. Let's talk about those inner thighs for a second. How they feeling? 
They're not even the star student at the moment, but they are working hard. Here we go. Final two. And bring your arm back up. We're gonna lower. Down for two. Low. Control it. I don't wanna see you dropping that weight. Control it, control it. Squeeze it up. And take it down. Take this leg out. We're gonna just stay and pulse it down. Picking up that pace. Lower and lift. Just right in your burn zone, not all the way down, not all the way up. Shoulders rolling back. Hup. Squeeze, pressing your knees back, always. Let's do two and two. We're gonna go two wide, two narrow. Here we go, narrow. Take it wide and narrow. It's so easy to drop your chest and posture here with the weight down. So I keep rolling my shoulders back to remind myself to lift. How you doing? Let's go. Hup. Pull it in. Two. Stay wide. Here we go. Hold. Knees go back, back, back. Just little butterflies open. Press, press. Always think back. Only back. Don't think forward so much. Just think opening your range of motion in your hips. Here we go. Lower down, down, and pull your weight to your chest. Rotate to your lunge and hold it. Find your balance. Aligning your joints, dropping low in your lunge. Let's take it down and up. Here we go, here we go. Down, up, drop. We are on both of our toes, working our quads to the max. You're gonna feel that bottom part of your quad on fire. Lower, up. You got this, you got this. You're almost there, hold. Can you give me two more repetitions? Two and one, let's hold it down, hold. Front heel goes, press, press, press. That's it, that's it. Lifting. Go deeper with your bottom knee. Four, three, two. And bring your front leg in. Shake it out. This is where we grab our chair to use it as a prop. So take a minute. If you ever need to pause it, you can pause it, stretch out, grab a sip of water, wipe your brow, then come right back to me. All right, we've got our chair, we've got our ball. You're gonna take your ball, place it, back behind one knee, and using your chair for balance, you're gonna have your shoulders right over your wrists and flex your foot. Now bring your knees to the same level so they're right together, and we're just gonna do a glute lift. That heel is pressing to the ceiling. You've got that nice, strong alignment of your spine. Now if you want, you can definitely try and balance by reaching your hands back, hands on your hips. Hold your leg up, hold, and tiny lifts. Holding at your highest, hardest point. Now lifting your knee one inch up, one inch down. You got this up. You're gonna feel that burn at the base of your glutes, top of your hammies. Next move, you're gonna leave that leg lifted and we're gonna reach with our arms up to the sky. It looks like this. You're gonna stand up for two, lower for two. Test your balance. Up. Oh yeah. If you need to go slower, no worries. This is super challenging on that one leg, using tons of balance and strength. Lower, up, final, two. Here we go, up, and take it down. Lift that heel, squeeze your ball, in, in. Lift your knee higher, yes. Drawing your core in. 
You got this, four, and three, and two, and one. Lift higher, higher, slowly lower. Grabbing that ball, stretch out your leg. Oh, yes, hammy. Shake it out, shake it out. Using your chair for one more move, we're gonna place your ball between your legs. Hands come on the chair, feet come out, and we're gonna take a tricep dip. We're gonna do 10 of them, keeping your glutes nice and close to the chair. Down, just taking it slow, feet are extended, inner thighs activated, lower, down, up, lower. If you need to walk your feet in, that's gonna release a lot of the pressure off of your upper body. Almost there, lower, lift, and here we go, here we go. You did it, bring your feet in. Are you ready to crush that other side? Just swinging my chair around. Gonna take my ball, place it behind the opposite hand, placing my hands on the chair, flexing my foot. Knees are parallel. I'm gonna bring my knees to the same level and we're gonna take that glute lift, heel to the sky. Up and lower. Big full range of motion to start. Next time, lift and hold at the top and little tiny lifts going up, up. A pulse is when you are at your highest, hardest point and trying to increase your strength and range of motion from that point, so tiny inches up and down. Pulses should never be big, keeping them nice and small. All right, let's take that big balance movement here as we lift and then lower. Oh yeah, here we go. Up and down. Final two. This time we're gonna keep that heel high in the air and squeeze your ball. You're trying to flatten it as we execute tiny little heel hamstring curls. Uh. Check your knees, make sure that knee is pointing towards the ground, not the TV. Yes, here we go, and four, and three, Two, lift, 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 lift. Bring your knee in, grab that prop. Take your heel on the chair and big stretch. All right, 10 more dips on the chair. You got this. Ball coming right between your knees, squeezing, activating your inner thighs. We're gonna take it, drop it low, down. Now, if this bothers your wrist, you can always stand up and do a tricep extension overhead, just holding a weight. Good, down. So much of the time, body weight exercises are just some of the best, right? No extra weight, just using a slower pace. Keeping those glutes close to the chair. Slow down, slow up. Last one, come on up and let's grab your ball, roll it out, shake it out. Last section of class today is standing abs. You need one weight. Taking one toe forward, your weight overhead, reach your arm out. You're gonna pull your knee to your chest. We're gonna go lift, tap. Pull up, 
Tons of balance work today. Lift. I want you to feel your abs activate as you pull your knee to chest. Lift. Two more. Keep your toe down. You're gonna bring your hand up. Opposite hand, we're gonna take that weight down to your shoulder height. And up, here we go, down for two. Down for two. Up for two. At the same time, you're gonna take that bottom foot and lift it. Oh. Yes, nice slow pace. Just lifting that leg as high as your inner thighs will take it. Your inner thighs are rotated under. Two more. Up. Last one. And yes, bring your weight down. Hand, hands come right to your chest. We're gonna twist it side to side. Ringing out your abs, hips stay stable. Combo right away. We're gonna take it side, side, twist. Did you get it? Yes, twist, twist, knee. Next time, you're gonna stay on that right side and twist your repeater. Hup. Yes, twist. Other side repeater, go. Twist, pull. Shoulder to knee, twisting. Good, just four more and three more, two and one. Standing up, you're gonna take the opposite arm to the sky, point your opposite foot, reaching opposite arm out. We're just gonna lift your knee and tap it. Balancing. Think about not locking out your bottom knee. Keep it soft. Lift, you go up and down. Keeping your weight slightly in front of you. You don't wanna hurt or tweak your back in any way. Leave your leg down, bring your opposite hand up. Let's lower that weight nice and slow, shoulder height. Bring it back up, down and up. Good. Taking your leg with it. Balance. Guess what? This is it, my friends. This is our final move of the day. You have crushed an all standing workout in almost no time flat. Up, here we go. Give me just two more and lift. You got this final reach and lift and lower that weight. Oh, drop your weight. Let's shake it out and take a cool down. Legs go wide. Let's take a big inhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Again, inhale. Two more times. Lifting and lowering. Last time, up and down. Take this shoulder, just drop it as you press your knees to the back wall, opening up your inner thighs. Other shoulder. Yes, reach it to this corner, stretching out your hip flexor. Reach arms up. And take it to the other side. Hold. Reach it up. Take it down. Hands come to the ground, big forward fold. Slight little bend in your knees, shaking your hips side to side. Bend your knees, roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time. And shake out your arms. 
Let's take one arm across your chest. Hold it here. Thank you so much again for being here today. That was a blast. We burned it out for sure. We felt that burn from our shoulders all the way down to our toes. Shake it out, shake it out. Other side. I love when you like, comment, subscribe, all of these things help me continue to bring you these workouts on YouTube for absolutely free. So thank you for your support. I love doing this with you. I will see you guys next time on YouTube. Bye.